everybody, my name is Miss Sarah and I am so happy that you're all here watching this story time with me. So let's get started by standing up and we'll all sing If You're Happy and You Know It, Clap Your Hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, spin around. If you're happy and you know it, spin around. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, spin around. Last up, if you're happy and you know it, sit right down. If you're happy and you know it, sit right down. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, sit right down. Great job! September is National Library Card Sign Up Month, which means that this month we're trying to get as many people as possible to sign up for a library card. A library card is a wonderful thing to have because it means that you can come to the library and check out a bunch of books to take home and use those to explore different worlds and stories and explore your imagination. So if you don't have your library card, ask your grown-up if you can come to the library and get one. And this story time is going to be all about different things you can do at the library. So let's start out by reading a book. This book is called Book, 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 and it was written by Deborah Bruss. Down at the farm, all was well until... The children went back to school and the animals had nothing to do. They had no rides to share, no tug of war to play, and no one to scratch behind their ears or ruffle their feathers. In the bright morning sun, the horse hung his head, the cow complained, and the goat grumbled. The pig pouted, the duck dozed off, and the hen heaved a sigh. Long about noon, with the sun high above the barnyard, the hen squawked, I'm bored, and I'm heading to town to find something to do. The animals followed her down the road. Look, clucked the hen, happy faces. This must be the place we're looking for. I'll go in and see if I can find something to do. Nay, nay, whinnied the horse. You are too small for such a big job. Leave it to me. I wonder what they found. Look at all those books. Where do you think they are? While the horse clip-clopped in, politely he asked for something to do. But the librarian could not understand the horse. All she heard was, nay, nay. So the horse hung his head and clip-clopped out. Well, next, the cow plodded in. Politely she asked for something to do. But the librarian could not understand the cow. All she heard was moo, moo. So the cow complained and plodded out. Now it was the goat's turn and he trotted in. Politely he asked for something to do. But the librarian could not understand the goat. All she heard was ba. Bah! So the goat grumbled and trotted out again. Looks like they're having story time over here. 
Slowly, the pig ambled into the library. Politely, she asked for something to do. But all the librarian heard was oink, oink. So the pig ambled out to tell her friends. Up flapped the head, and she announced, I am going in, and no one is going to stop me. Into the library, she flapped. Book, clucked the hen politely. The librarian looked around and said, what's that noise? Book, book, clucked the hen. The librarian scratched her head. Who's that, she asked. Book, book book clucked the hen quite clearly oh is this what you want asked the librarian and she handed the hen three books oh, and they're gonna go back on home to the farm now Well, back at the farm, the horse, the cow, the goat, the pig, the duck, and the hen all gathered around the books. The barnyard was filled with neighs, moos, baas, oinks, quacks, and book, book, books. Their sound of delight lasted until sundown. All the animals were happy, except for the bullfrog. Do you know what he said? What do frogs say? He said, I've already read it, read it, read it, read it. The end. going to do a little rhyme that's going to encourage us to use our imagination, which is a great thing that we love to encourage everyone to use here in the library. So to do this little rhyme, I'm going to use my rhythm sticks and you can use something similar at home. Maybe you have something like these in your toy chest or maybe you can ask a grown up to borrow a couple of spoons that you can tap together. So pause the video and go see if you can find something similar to these so that you can do this rhyme along with me. All right, we're gonna do three different things with our sticks in this song. First, we're gonna wave them side to side rhythmically while we say tick tock, tick tock. So can we practice that together? Tick tock, tick tock. All right, and then we're gonna listen and wait for someone to knock, knock, knock. So let's do this part by knocking, by making a knocking sound with our sticks. Knock, knock, knock. And then we're gonna see who's at the door. We're gonna use our sticks to pretend we're that animal at the door. We're gonna have to use our imaginations for this. So let's try it together. So get your sticks ready and get them ready to tick tock. Tick tock, tick tock goes the clock, waiting for someone to knock 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 my oh my it's a cat do you see the whiskers we've made with our rhythm sticks all right let's do it again and see who else is coming to the door tick tock tick tock goes the clock waiting for someone to knock 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 my oh my it's a bunny look at those bunny ears tick tock tick tock goes the clock waiting for someone to knock 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 my oh my it's a dog look at that beak tick tock tick tock goes the clock waiting for someone to knock 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 my oh my it's a walrus look at the tusks all right let's do one more tick tock tick tock goes the clock waiting for someone to knock 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 my oh my it's a alligator all right great 
great job, everybody. Give yourself a round of applause with your sticks. And I'm going to be reading Lola en la Biblioteca. Hola, me llamo Carla y voy a estar leyendo Lola en la Biblioteca. It is written by Anna McQuinn and Rosalind Beardshaw. Es escrito por Anna McQuinn y Rosalind Beardshaw. A Lola le encantan los martes. Los martes Lola va a la biblioteca con su mamá. La biblioteca abre a las nueve, pero Lola se prepara desde mucho antes. Coloca en la mochila todos los libros que pidió prestados la semana anterior. Nunca se le olvida su carne. La biblioteca no está muy lejos, así que Lola y su mamá siempre van caminando. Lola y su mamá devuelven los libros que sacaron la semana anterior. La biblioteca los escanea. En la biblioteca hay una sección especial para niños. Es fantástica. Nadie te manda a callar. En ocasiones se puede cantar. Lola se sabe toda la canción, Brilla, Brilla, Linda Estrella, representada con gestos. También está la hora del cuento. A Lola le encanta. Después de la hora del cuento, Lola escoge los libros. Puede elegir todos los que quiera. A Lola le gustan los cuentos de osos y cualquier cuento de zapatos. Hay tantos que se demora un, mo un montón para decidirse. Mamá también escoge algunos libros. La biblioteca los escanea y anota la fecha en los que deben devolver. Lola debe devolverlos en dos semanas, pero seguro que regresará por más libros antes de esa fecha. Lola y su mamá siempre van a merendar cuando salen de la biblioteca. Mamá se toma un cappuccino y Lola un jugo. Si Lola se ha portado bien, su mamá la deja probar la espuma. ¡Qué rico! Es hora de volver a casa. Todas las noches, cuando Lola se acuesta, su mamá le lee un cuento. Es la mejor forma de terminar el día. Y Andy es el fin. Bye, adiós. This song we're going to sing is called London Bridge is Falling Down. So let's stand up and we'll sing it together. If you know it, you can sing along. And either way, let's try and do the motions together. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. 
filled it up with sticks and stones, sticks and stones, sticks and stones, filled it up with sticks and stones, my fair lady. All right, let's sing it one more time. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Filled it up with sticks and stones, sticks and stones, sticks and stones. Filled it up with sticks and stones, my fair lady. Great job! story we're going to hear about some friends who come by the library to check out their books. Let's see how many books we have for them to check out. We have one, two, three, four, five. We have five library books. Five little books at the library. Five little books as great as can be. Along comes Bunny with her library card to take one home and read. All right, now how many books do we have? We have one, two, three, four. Four little books at the library. Four little books as great as can be. Along comes Dog with his library card to check out a book to read. Now how many books do we have? We have one, two, three. Three little books at the library. Three little books as great as can be. Along comes Mouse with his library card to take one home to read. Now how many are left? We have one, two. Two little books at the library. Two little books as great as can be. Along comes Cat with her library card to take one home to read. Now how many books do we have left? Just one. One little book at the library. One little book as great as can be. Along comes Fish with their library card to take one home to read. The end. Thank you all so much for watching and singing along with me. Now let's get up and we'll sing our goodbye song. We wave and sing goodbye. We wave and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time. We wave and sing goodbye. We clap and sing goodbye. We clap and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time. We clap and sing goodbye. We stomp and say goodbye, we stomp and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time, we stomp and sing goodbye. We smile and sing goodbye, we smile and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time, we smile and sing goodbye. Goodbye everybody! Mm -hmm.